here has any reason whatsoever why these two should not join in holy matrimony. Please, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. <laughs> well, I have something I'd like to say. What? And here we go. Everyone, thank you for coming on this wonderful occasion, on this wedding day. I really do thank you for coming here to my groomsmen. Thank you for always being there for me. And baby, I love you. I truly love you. There's one thing I wanted to talk to you about, but I couldn't figure out the words to express it. So I figured the best way to bring it up to you would be to show you. What? What the? What the hell? Oh my God! Oh. What the? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Oh, sh This is supposed to be regular. Oh! It's an evil world we live in. I want to see what you look like under the mask. Like, why are you hiding your face? So you're going to show her what's underneath? I'm hiding my face for the same reason you're wearing makeup. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. <laughs> no. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Most women aren't even curious about men. What do you mean? Okay. Um, ask a woman what she wants from a man and she'll give you a thesaurus, a list, an encyclopedia. <laughs> ask what she brings to the table and you can't even write it on the back of a stamp. <laughs> <laughs>
I literally wasn't listening. So naturally, I call every guy that I know that's in the greater Cincinnati area, right? Half them were asleep, so I'm not mad at them. But of those that were awake, either they didn't have jumper cables or they didn't know what to do or they didn't know how to do it, blah, 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 blah. First of all, I think that there's a lot of humor and irony in the fact that men are useless for not knowing how to do something that you, in fact, yourself don't know how to do. But honestly, lady, I can't be too mad at you because I was literally just thinking the other day about how useless and worthless women were because my male best friend, he was having a tough day. He was hungry and women who aren't even his girlfriend didn't immediately get on their knees for him and then start cooking him a meal like <laughs> worthless. <laughs> Yeah, selective thinking at its finest. Is anyone surprised? Anybody? Though it is good to know that there are some women out there who know what the fuck they're talking about, calling this kind of bullshit out. But still, it never ceases to amaze me the complete lack of self-awareness, the absolute ignorance when somebody starts spewing this kind of bullshit. Strong, independent woman. I could do anything and I don't need you. What do you want? Can you help me open this? What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> Sensational. A couple weeks ago I referenced this article talking about the spatial recognition skills between men and women and how men consistently score higher in this kind of thing. And if you needed any more proof that this is one thing that we get different, here's a few clips. Are you gonna put it so, on <laughs> My mom wanted to lock her door. <laughs> She's got a sliding door. And this was her solution. <laughs> it's science. Okay, I'm not on a sleigh. Okay. Gotcha, bitch. So if you can't read this, it says this African man took a pic and posted it saying how proud he was to take a bus driven by a woman for the first time ever in his country. And then the second picture, um, he posted 15 minutes later <laughs> it's jokes it's jokes <laughs> but it's true oh lord okay Let's be clear here, man or woman, this is just a dumb fucking idea. Now this woman is a far cry from the woman who was calling men useless just because they didn't know how to change her tire. This is our female role model of the day. I got locked in my roof and nobody's available to come help me out, so I ordered Uber Eats. Um, and I put in the instructions that you have to just buzz every apartment until someone lets you in and then come up to the roof and let me out. Thank you. You a genius. Look, she's good looking, she's in shape, she's an outside of the box thinker who solves problems with food. This is the type of person who could help you reach your life goals. And he lived happily ever after to the end of his days. A good meal and some peace and quiet. Life goals achieved. And look, if you can find someone to do that for you, this is one way you can pay them back. <laughs> yeah, boy. If I say, huh, like two times, don't say never mind. Don't give up on me. I'm trying, bitch. Oh, ma'am, you have a really cute shirt. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are you fucked? What? She has a cute fucking shirt. My man. <laughs> if God didn't want women to attract men, he wouldn't have given them what? A booty. A booty, yes. <laughs> what?
I'm with Steve Harvey. What the fuck else would they have on the board then? But hey, look, don't lose faith. Tomorrow's another day. All right. Well, got to figure it out. Made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. I'm a life goes on type of guy.